Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do an updated video on winterizing our basketball goal. There it is down there by the mailbox. Maybe hard for you to see, but uh, I found, I've learned a few things since I made this last video. Number one, when you put this non-toxic antifreeze in, it works great. It does everything like it should. But after a, probably a few months, I would say, um, it wants to it wants to smell like rotten fruit. So. Uh, a lot of commenters on this. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to do an updated video on what we put in. Now, consider uh, mine is pretty much winterized since I've been working on this, you know, for several years now. So I, this is more of an update where I just add one gallon of antifreeze, the non-toxic antifreeze, and I add some bleach to it. So that's how we keep it from smelling like that rotten fruit. That's what I call it, rotten fruit smell. It smells like rotten fruit to me. So uh, let's get into it. All right, and this is what we are going to use. Here's what we're gonna to use to do it. We're gonna use the non-toxic antifreeze and we're gonna use uh, not the whole gallon of bleach. We're just gonna put some bleach in there. I think last time I tried this, I put less than a quart, uh, but yeah, just just get some bleach in there so you, so you don't get that smell. Okay guys, there's our opening. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop that out. Sit, sit. And one more thing, guys. If you do have that rotten fruit smell and you're not sure where it's coming from, it took us a while to figure it out. Um, just add a little bit of bleach to it. And and, and people are going to ask how much. I, was like, I have no idea. Just add a little bit at first and uh, see if the smell, see if it targets the smell, gets rid of it. And then uh, if it doesn't, let's add a little more and uh, kind of increment from there. Well, hey guys, that's all we have for today. Just a quick one to show an update from our last video. If you haven't seen our last video, I'll put it up here in a card. But that's something we do a little differently. Um, we, we live in a cold climate and we've never had problems with, uh, with freezing in this thing uh, by using that method. I think to start off with, I put three or four of... Uh, those gallons in of that RV antifreeze, that non-toxic stuff. Because, you know, I do have my co-star over here that is around that basketball goal. So, you know, I don't want him drinking some kind of regular antifreeze and, you know, getting sick out of that. So that's that's why we do it that way. Now, yeah, I get it. The, the bleach is in there, but we don't put enough in uh, compared to the total gallons of that that I think, you know, it's it's... It's not making it toxic enough, I would say, but you know, and again, I'm no expert, so, but that's my thoughts on it. So share yours below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.